So apparently, AI is coming for everyone's jobs. Artists, writers, your weird cousin who draws furries for commission. Terrifying. But you know what? I'm not scared. I'm going to exploit these free AI tools like GPT and Gemini to make some stupid Arduino stuff and call it progress. Who's really winning here? Let's find out. So here's what we're going to do. I have an ESP32 dev kit C that I've mounted on a custom PCB that I've designed and ordered from PCBWay. It takes eight inputs and eight outputs and breaks them out onto this PCB. Uh, actually, scratch that. It was supposed to be eight outputs, but I used two input pins as outputs. So we have eight inputs and six outputs. I wrote simple code just to make sure that my inputs and my outputs were working. That code and all the code you're going to see in this video are going to be linked to a GitHub repo down below. And this is the only code that I'm going to write myself this entire video. So zero guarantees of quality. Here are the tasks that I'm going to get AI to code for me. Get the ESP32 to connect to Wi-Fi. Get the ESP32 to host a website. Be able to toggle the outputs via the website. Get to toggle the outputs via the physical buttons. And I'm going to connect the outputs independently to a relay board I have from PCB Way as well. And possibly a stretch goal to monitor the output status on the website. The idea is that I'm going to be able to pull out my phone and flip on and off my lights in my workshop from anywhere in the house. But I also want physical buttons that I can use when I'm standing right next to the device. So let's meet our players. First, we've got Google Gemini. Then we've got ChatGBT, the originator of all this stuff, pretty much. We've got Clo.ai, which came highly recommended by another maker. We have Microsoft Copilot. I'm using the website version, but if you have Windows, it's probably been spywared onto your computer by now. And we have Perplexity AI, which was recommended by Harry Wigwana. All of these AIs will be signed up with a free burner account. That means that whatever I'm doing here, you can access for free, but very likely you'll have to make your own accounts. I use the burner email and I recommend you do as well. Here's the prompt I'm using. I chose to start with GPT because another maker swears by Claude, so I want to get the basics done by GPT and refine that output in Claude if needed. <laughs> Let's just copy the code into a blank sketch and see if it compiles. It doesn't, because I'm missing the library, so I add them. And modify the pin assignments and Wi-Fi info. And now it compiles. So we just upload it to the ESP and... First attempt is a dud. It doesn't show anything in the serial monitor. And checking the router shows nothing at all is connected to the Wi-Fi. Let's complain to the manager and see if we can get it resolved. Well, asking GPT to fix it didn't help the first time, like a true manager tried to blame everything but its own output, but when getting a bit firmer with it, it spat out new code that did compile and did upload to the ESP without problems. Let's see if it worked. So let's first see if it got the button toggle. Okay, that one is working. Two, three, four, five, and six is working. And then the other two do nothing because of my own fault. It made a website and... I've got the outputs and they are monitored. Let's hit uh, toggle. That worked. Two, three, four, five, and six. They all work, except it seems like this off is not toggling back on. Maybe if I refresh it. Oh, if I refresh it, it works. So, yeah, there we go. So, this actually works. So, this um, this project is now in a state where it would be complete. Like, this, this works. But we still have a whole bunch of functionality in the other AIs. So, uh, let's see if we can improve the code to have this sort of, uh, you know, toggle live and maybe make it look more pretty. So now it's Claude's time to shine. Let's get it to update the output status on the web page automatically. This time though, I upload the code and let it have a look at GPT's work so far. So let's just copy and paste the code into the IDE and install the library. Whoops, it doesn't exist. Claude, I can't believe you've done this. So let's get it to try again. No libraries to install this time. Let's give it a whirl. All right, let's see what Claude has for us. Um, another maker swears by it, so hopefully it's not broken. So let's plug it into power first. 
It is powering on. I'm going to give it a moment. I don't know if it takes longer to boot than usual. Let's see. One works. Uh, two is a bit finicky, but I think it's just my, yeah. So definitely number two is working. Three works. Four, five, and six. All right. So now the big question is, uh, can I open it in a browser? Oh. What? It seems to work. Let's turn them all on. It works. Okay, now the question is, if I flip off one of the outputs, does it change? Oh, it does. That's incredible. It works so well. Well, I'll be. I feel like we can polish this just a little bit more before calling it a day. So let's get it to make the background of the web page black because dark mode is best mode. Let's also ask it to keep the labels the same size all the time so they don't move in relation to the screen. And I would also like to give it labels myself so I can know which switch does what. All right, so this is uh, Claude's second attempt, third attempt. Uh, does it still work? Yeah, it all still works. That's good. So they're all on there. And let's see if we get anything in the web browser. Oh, look at that. Wow. Is it toggling? Yes, it's toggling. Well, I think this is fantastic. It works so well now. So I think we can call this a success. I am pretty happy with that. I can name it whatever I want. All I need to do is connect this to the relay board and then I have light controls. So here is my absolute dream. So I would have uh, this hooked up this board hooked up down here in my workshop and I'd have this board hooked up down here in my workshop. This is just uh, relays so that the ESP triggers relays instead of just the LEDs we've been looking at. And let's say it's time for me to come to my workshop. So I pull up the little web page here and I see that my workbench lights one, let's call it this one, uh, is off. And so toggle it and it comes on. So I can turn on and off my studio lights from my phone anywhere on my Wi-Fi. This is exactly what I wanted. Even more so though, these are just regular relays. And this board, you know, if I make another one, I can have four more on top of that. So the possibilities are endless, but you can do things like switch on and off your computer, uh, switch on and off timers, all sorts of stuff. And you could just do it from your phone. But if I'm sitting right here at the bench and I want to toggle them, well, all I can do is reach over and hit the switch. And all of them work, two, three, and four. And if I hooked up another one of these boards, then it would have another one. So uh, both these boards are going to be linked down below. You can grab them from PCBWay.com. It is the sponsor of this video. Um, and it allows me to make these kinds of projects and add a little bit of home automation to my workshop. I hope if nothing else, this video gives you the confidence that using a couple of AI tools and a little bit of finessing, you can make anything come true. Thanks for watching.